I don't eat breakfast anymore. If I... Ah. Wendy's now does breakfast. Wendy's does breakfast. Wendy's does breakfast. Wendy's does breakfast. I'm triggered. Cancel. Chef Brian Sow here, not your typical chef, and no, I am not related to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. We both just so happen to have bald heads. <laughs> Wendy's has been doing breakfast for quite some time now. I don't know exactly how long, but I know it's been a thing, and I've never tried it. Honestly, I don't eat much junk food. Uh, I mean, I eat it occasionally. I've always associated Wendy's with more quality than all of the major fast food chains. <laughs> I've always... <laughs> As far as all the fast food chains go, I definitely associate Wendy's with the most quality. I always just remember it being an overall pleasant experience. Before I start this review, I just want to say that I am not sponsored by any fast food chain or any restaurant. I paid for this product with my own money. I also make sure to have a little something in my stomach before I do the review. If I go into a review hungry, it'll definitely affect the grading at the end. With that said, let's dive right in. They gave it to me in this bag right away. It's all greased up. Greased. Oh my god, I cannot pronounce anything today. Greased. There's grease all over the bag. What we are here to review is this guy. It says chicken on it, but that's totally fine. It does in fact say sausage on there, which is a smart utilization of their product so that they don't have to get one set of foil for chicken, one set of foil for sausage. They get cross, cross utilization, utilization out of one product. Amazing! I can see the layers of dough and fat on this top bun over here. It's definitely not going to be a particularly great product because I could already tell with the flaking structure. The layers aren't super defined. With a really good croissant, you can really see a lot of flakes, very clear layering, if not air gaps. That's how you know you got a really well-made croissant. Now, another... Now, inevitably, the layers closer to the center are not gonna flake up as much. That is totally natural. It's just kind of like a par-baked product, probably made with a gigantic machine that really beats the dough. Looking inside, I was shocked at one thing. This is an egg that they cooked on the griddle. They just took an egg, cracked it open, and cooked it on the griddle. Unlike Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts, which is just a reheated product, they actually cooked this egg on location. It's not hard to cook eggs but I just feel like that's a nice touch, especially with fast food moving into more pre-produced product that you just warm up later. Looking on the bottom, there is sausage. <laughs> Holy shit, there's some damn good caramelization on there. That means that the griddle was nice and hot when they placed this meat on. Very freaking impressive. Look at that deep caramelization. Very good. All right. We're off to a good start. Bottom bun, there's nothing on there. There is some sauce on top. It looks like some kind of mayo. I wish there was cheese on this. Okay, upon first bite, I'm liking what I'm getting. The croissant, again, it's a mass-produced croissant product. It's definitely a few grades below something you'd find at Costco. Oh. I actually really do like Costco croissants. However, Costco croissants is not a marker of well-crafted piece of culinary art. Let's just get that straight. The croissant itself is just very soft. Yes, it's buttery. It, Texture-wise, it doesn't hit any marks of what I'm looking for from croissant texture. So looking at the inside of that sausage patty, like most mass-produced breakfast sausage patties, it has this great texture in the middle, which, you know, tastes delicious, but kind of looks shitty. The deep caramelization on the outside of this patty, it's not something that stands out immediately. It's just, it kind of adds to the overall picture. And I feel like if every fast food place can get that correct, they're just gonna make a better product. The egg is cooked great. It's an over easy egg. It's not overdone when I go to places that use pre-cooked egg products. Product. Yeah, it's serviceable. It tastes like egg. It is made of egg. It's just gonna be a little tough That is not the case with this egg. I mentioned earlier. I wish there was cheese on it It's not a deal breaker the mayo that's in here, which I'm not sure if that's some kind of cheese sauce actually yeah, that's some kind of cheese sauce. That's not mayo. So I looked it up really quickly. I was right. It's not mayo. It's a Swiss cheese sauce. That's a nice touch. Uh, they did not need to put a slice of cheese on top. On, on top. 
top. Fuck me and these pronunciations. Anyway, I still wish it was a melted slice of cheese. Not bad. I don't particularly like it, but it doesn't work against it. Now I docked points on the croissant because it is not flaky at all and croissants are supposed to be flaky. Keep in mind it was wrapped in this packaging, of course it's not going to stay crispy. However, there is no sign of crispiness to this croissant whatsoever. In the past, for example, the Arby's video, the beer battered fish sandwich, it was in this clamshell box, but the, there were some parts of the edge that were still slightly crispy. This is just a soft croissant like dough is the best way I can describe it. Thank God they fucking seared this thing properly though. This entire meal was $6.92 after tax. So I'm assuming if I just got the sandwich, it would probably be in the $4 and change mark. For what I got, I'm impressed. And it hits that Wendy's quality that I expect. Remember, when I say quality, this is in the realm of fast food. Overall, there's nothing that is particularly outstanding about any of the components. The croissant was not flaky. The sausage is basically like every other frozen breakfast sausage product. One of the redeeming factors, they really took the time to make sure that there was good caramelization on that sausage patty. They also cooked the egg on location, so it was not a pre-cooked egg product. And then there was the cheese sauce. My personal preference was to have a slice of cheese, but the cheese sauce, not bad. So let's get to the point. What do I grade this one out of 10? One being a bag, a bag full, full of donkey, donkey dicks, dicks, or 10 being five-year-old you getting the exact toy you wanted on Christmas morning? I give Wendy's sausage croissant egg sandwich, I give it a six and a half. If you enjoyed this content, please hit like, subscribe, hit the notification button in the comments below. I want to know what you want to see me review on I Tried so you don't have to. I do this every Friday. I am Chef Brian Sow, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon. Shit.